I guess everybody in town knows my name is Big R Man. One afternoon he was walking up the sidewalk and he said, I'm having indigestion. And I said, well, that's what it is. I called Austin Hart, give him two nitros, called 911, we did. And then that's when the congestive heart failure came in and, and we found out that, you know, we were in congestive heart failure. Heart failure is a disease that stems from numerous medical conditions that ultimately culminates in the heart's inability to meet the demands of the body. There's a lot of things going on. It's a complex disease. There's a complex home environment. Uh, compliance, uh, follow-ups, things like that are, are, are so important because things can get missed. Um, patients can become unstable quickly and um, ultimately their quality of life and their quantity of life can get compromised. And then we found Dr. Bach and that was the key to our success, ma'am, was finding him. This was kind of the textbook presentation of someone who had blocked arteries, a weakened heart pump, then fluid buildup. And that's, that's how it happens, unfortunately. Some days it's a little overwhelming. I was a very overwhelmed Monday night because I was concerned about his health. He'd had a really hard day because I knew he was struggling. In terms of the caregiver role, that perhaps is one of the most challenging roles of all because how do you remain objective as a caregiver yet give good care and compassionate care? Every night, the patient, Mr. Williams, lays down on a pillow and his information is transmitted through a remote monitoring device back to his physician. It's just been a godsend to this family because everybody watches Big R, everybody takes care of Big R, but there's somebody with medical knowledge watching Big R. I don't have medical knowledge. I know when he's not feeling well, but I can't say, we're in trouble. We gotta get him, we gotta, we gotta get the pressure off his heart. They do that for me, so I don't have to guess. I'm banking on the fact that I can keep these patients home, keep Mr. Williams home, keep him doing the good things he does in the community, um, and not see me nearly as much in the hospital. <laughs> we work a lot with the American Heart Association to really understand heart failure and how it impacts the practice every day. So for us, it's been a great partnership so that they can help bring education to physicians, clinicians, and patients. The American Heart Association for years has done an exceptional job in public outreach and education. And I think what they've done to uh, help raise uh, education and awareness for CHF, for um, coronary disease, for hypertension, um, help educate the public and certainly um, help better empower them to take better care of themselves and us as a physician community to do better by our patients as well. I honestly believe without a doubt that this has extended my life and I have a purpose for being here. We're getting time that, that 10 years ago I didn't know we were gonna have. There were moments in, in, in time that you'd, you'd think we wasn't gonna have anymore. I'm very blessed and, and, and grateful for the time that we've been given. I have a strong heart, man, because I, I can do every day everything I want to do. And the reason is, is because of the help and the assistance I've been able to get through doctors and the people that take care of hearts, ma'am. They've been taking care of my heart. You don't know that the American Heart Association is there until you need it. And when we needed it, it was there.